What up, ninjas? I hope everyone's enjoying the Flow Jitsu series. I wanted to show you guys a couple um, counters to things that you're gonna encounter when you're working some of your techniques from that system. Okay, so guys, we're in the first module of Flow Jitsu. I talk about my Kimura sweep, my inside and outside Kimura sweep, which is a big part of my game. Um, and I've noticed that when I hit this sweep, two things that I encounter really often is when I'm going to hit my sweep and I get up here, a lot of guys you know, are gonna try to stuff your sweep by tackling you here. And you're gonna get tackled sometimes, you're not gonna be able to control that. So let me show you a nice little counter for when that happens. So when I go for my sweeper and he starts to, to counter with that push and I can't control it, I'm gonna shoot my hips out and I'm gonna to switch to an overhook. Hips come out and then I go to my overhook. Right away, I'm gonna start framing on his head as I control my, hold on to my forearm to create lots of structure here so that he can't center up. So he wants to get back to here. I don't want him over here. I'm gonna control that arm in here as a frame off his head. Now I can easily go to, and if he brings his hand up here, I can easily go into the triangle here, or I can easily hit if he keeps his head down and tries to kill my triangle, I can start going to my omoplata here. So I bring the leg across. As my arm comes out, my overhook comes out, I pin or holster his wrist to my hip. I clear my legs, I come up, I grab, and then we work our speed bump. Break him down through the arm, Boom, hit my sweep. So again, one more time. And this is a nice one, like I said, when they're really trying to kill that sweep. Boom, I overhook. See how I switch that one more time there? As I come up and he drives in, my hips come out and I dive through there. And I start to frame off the head here. Try to fence that head in. If he brings his hand up, my leg comes through and I hit my triangle. If he lays down, he tries to kill the triangle, the hand comes out as the leg goes over. I holster, I turn, and then I come up. Boom, just like that. Now another thing in here you're gonna encounter, this guy's pushing into my arms right here. So look, he's pushing into my arms, trying to control my arms, okay? So watch, this is a cool little wrist lock. This is a nasty little move. You're not always gonna get the tap on it, but they're definitely not gonna wanna do this again. So I bring my hand across and I grab my hands together in a gable grip and I start to pinch his fingers in there and his hand in there, control his wrist. My elbow comes up, across, and I go straight down and he'll pull his arm out real quick like that because he doesn't like that. So one more time, palms together, I make a circle. Now watch, when he pulls his arm out, I'm gonna hip out right away and start controlling that arm. Now look, I'm not gonna be able to get the overhook the same way. So here I can go under the legs and I can work to Williams guard right here. Sean Williams made this famous. It's an awesome position. It is great, a great modification when you can't get into your overhook here. I go under the leg, I can frame here, I can control his lapel, I can lock the hands for no gi, and all the same rules start to apply. Right to my omoplata, holster, come up, break down structure, boom, right to omoplata. So one more time on that little wrist lock, He's pushing into my arms here. Palms go together. I pinch it in and I make a little circle as I drive it down. He pulls out, I hip out. If I can get the overhook in here, I'll take the overhook. But if I can't, I go under my leg. I frame to the Williams guard. Leg over, holster, come up. Break down structure. Boom, right to my own blood. Awesome, give it a try. If you guys got questions, please message me or comment below. Enjoy flow jitsu, happy training, Os.